Hello, everybody. We're doing Chicago Bears record predictions. So we're coming off. Let's just get right into it. We're coming off a rough season, and we made a lot of great moves. I mean, yeah, let's look at last season. People say, you're a 3-14 and 14 team. You know, you're going to suck big time. Most of these losses were close. Some, obviously, were not close. But let's, lo let's look at this. We're a few moves away from being a 7-win team. For example, this one. We settle for a field goal in any of those three failed drives when we easily could have and should have. Then that last drive that Fields did that run with would have been a chip shot field goal. We win that game 13 to 12. 4 and 13. That pass pin interference gets called. We get a field goal with the momentum. Probably win that game. 5 and 12. Santos makes that extra point, or just pretty much, or we go for two or something. We win that game. We had the momentum. Six and eleven. Philadelphia Eagles. We get that momentum going. That can easily be a win right there. Same with the Packers. Keep the momentum going. That is eight winnable games on top of the games we won, of course. So we were not a tear. We were not a there were teams in the league that were worse than us. On on paper and on the field. Record wise, yeah, we were the worst, but you know. We got a lot of great players, a lot of new players. So how do I think it's gonna play out? Let me show you. I have us getting a statement good win to start off the season good at three o'clock. Week one. So, that's good. And then we fly down to Tampa Bay and get a dub 2-0 and record. But, yeah, 2-0 and is, start, uh, two and is a great start. But, I got us dropping the next two. Um, I just don't think we'll be able to keep that momentum going against teams like, obviously, Kansas City. I don't see us winning that. Even the most optimistic part of me does not see us winning that game especially at Arrowhead of course I'll I will watch that game I will watch every single one of these games because we're gonna win you win some you lose some it seems it's gonna be better than 3 and 14 you know we're probably gonna win you know six to nine games but I am 99% certain that this will not be one of them Denver at home that could be a win and when I make my weekly predictions during the season, I might even pick us to win that game when the time comes, depending on the situation. Um, but right now, um, going into this season, I don't have us winning that one. And I also don't have us winning this one versus the Commanders. This is going to be one of the games every team has one or two. Games that they, they should win. We are better than the Commanders. On paper, roster-wise, we are a better team. But which I don't, I don't have us winning this one. It's just traveling all the way to DC, prime time game. It's just, I don't think we win this one. But I have us going back home, off a of mini pot, and getting two solid wins. Versus two solid wins versus the Minnesota Vikings and the Los Angeles Raiders. Both these teams, I think the Vikings are going to take a big step back from last year. Like, let, let's just look at But let's look at their their schedule last year. They were 13 to 4. Yes. They didn't win a single playoff game. And a lot of their wins were very close. Nail biters. This one could have easily been a Bears win right there. Field goal. Field goal. That was actually a blowout. But look at this. They played a good team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Put up 7 points. 
They beat the Poverty Cardinals, terrible Cardinals, only beat them by eight. Washington Commanders, another not good team, only beat them by eight. They barely won that game off a pure miracle. Um, but yeah, then they play Dallas, loss, terrible blowout loss, on Thanksgiving, I believe, no, wait, no, that wasn't on Thanksgiving, that was on Thanksgiving, still, not a really good team, barely, not really a close win, another not really close win, a close loss, oh no, a pretty much blowout loss against a decent kind of team. Massive needed a really, really, really massive, the biggest comeback in history in order to beat the Poverty Colts. Barely beat the Giants, which is a decent team. I'll give them that. Blown out by the Packers in front of the entire country. And then an easy win over a team that literally just gave out a free win. We were begging to lose that one. So, yeah, I think I take a step back, and we get a win there, and we get a win there against a not-so-good Raiders team. But I have us losing to the Chargers on primetime football, and then I have us dropping one to the Saints, too. So we're going to be sitting at 4-5, and five, not too hot, but it's okay. I got us bouncing back. I got us bouncing back. Uh, versus the Panthers to sit at 5-5, five and five, get a good win over the Panthers. We get to see Bryce Young in action, the team we traded the first overall pick to. So we're sitting at 5-5. Five and five. You know, not the worst place to be for a team. They just got the first overall pick the year before. But also not too ambitious. But um, win streaks really aren't going to be that common except for these two right here. And uh, we drop the next one. Uh, versus the Detroit Lions, even coming off a mini buy, and then I also have us dropping the Monday Night Football. Even though Rodgers has not performed well on Monday Night Football, um, I I see us dropping that one. But we're coming off a buy. And I think we make changes. Obviously, this is a multi-year rebuild like the Blackhawks are doing. The Bears are getting better. And it will continue to get better throughout this season. And 2024 and beyond, this is not a real year to contend. And we have a lot of winnable games after the bye. I think we come off strong. We get an upset win over the Detroit Lions. We drop one to the Cleveland Browns. A good team that I think has a lot of potential that people are... People are really underrating the uh, the Cleveland Browns as a team. I think they have potential to be a, a 10 to 12 win team and make some serious, serious noise in the playoffs. I'm not talking about a team that will sneak in as a 7th seed and be some cadden fodder to a real contender like the Chiefs or something. I'm talking about a serious playoff threat. So we're sitting at six and eight. I got us getting two good wins versus the. I got us getting a nice win over the Arizona Cardinals to advance to seven and eight. And I'm actually going to change something. I'm going to give us a win over the Saints, and I'll say we drop one to the Atlanta Falcons. And then to end our season, I got us losing to the Green Bay Packers. So looking at this, I think this is a very fair and balanced. Um, we have a really good mid-season campaign. We're four, four and one from October 15th to November uh, 10th, which would be the day after that game. My record predictions have us going four and one. Then we get two decent wins. A nice Christmas Eve dub over the Cardinals. And a nice upset win. I think this is a pretty good record prediction. I think 8-9 and nine, um, is a good goal. 
it's not a winning season, but it's not a bad season either. And there are a few wins. I think we could win this. It's just the fact that it's a primetime game and it's away coming off a rough loss to Denver. I think I will come into the game and I most likely will probably pick us to win week five when that time comes, depending on the situation. But I do think if, if we win this game or lose this game, I think we'll bounce back off a of mini buy and get a good win over the Vikings and the Raiders. And this will be two rough losses against divisional opponents, but it is what it is. I think we finished up not so good, but okay, I guess. I need a win over the Lions and a win over the Cardinals. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Go Bears.